causes all that moving and shaking of earthquakes and volcanoes? Well, our planet Earth has been in constant motion for over 200 million years. Things are constantly moving. The land mass is constantly moving. The land mass that we see and the land that's up under the oceans. When we look at the globe and we see Earth, we see that we have land masses of continents. We have seven continents. And these continents, years ago, have been suggested that they were not separated. In the early 1900s, a German scientist named Wagner, he began to observe the coastlines of Africa and South America. When he observed these two land masses, he noticed that if you took South America and pulled it over to Africa, these pieces would match up together. And so he says that before we had separated continents, we had one large continent called the supercontinent, and he called this Pangaea. Pangaea is a Greek word that stands for all of Earth. And so all of the land was connected together to make one large supercontinent. The other thing he observed and noticed was that when he found fossils in Africa, the same type fossils, whether it was animal or plant, these fossils were also in South America. So his theory is that we had one large supercontinent. Now, remember, this took over 200 million years for our continents to look this way. Now, how did this actually occur? look at the layers of the earth. The earth has four layers. The crust, which is the very outer core of earth. Then we have the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. The crust is hard and rigid. It is the outermost layer of earth. It averages about 20 miles deep. The second layer is the mantle, right below the crust. The mantle is made of semi-solid rock, and it goes about 1,800 miles deep. The outer core is the next layer below the mantle. It is the only liquid part that is extremely hot, and it's made of iron and nickel. This particular part of the Earth's layer goes very deep to about 3,200 miles deep. And last, we have the inner core. The inner core is a solid part of Earth, and it is solid made mostly of iron and nickel. So, knowing the layers of the Earth will help us to understand how Earth was once a supercontinent of land mass, and now those pieces have separated and we have seven continents. Let's look at the plates and how the plates affect Earth that causes volcanoes, earthquakes, and tsunamis because of the shifting of the plate. What causes the movement of the land masses? Well, we have these plates, and plates move in several directions. They can move past each other, away from each other, and towards each other. For this part of the video, if you would like to participate in exploring the plates, you will need some crackers, peanut butter, a spoon, and plate. 
or you can use graham crackers, marshmallow, or you can use cheese whiz and some other type of crackers just so you will have something to move the plates with. Take your peanut butter and take about three tablespoons and put on your plate in a thick layer. Next, you're going to take your two crackers and put them on top. First, we're going to look at convergent. Convergent plates are two plates pushing towards each other. As they push towards each other, they begin to push and move above each other, on top of each other. Now, what landform do you think is created when plates are convergent or move towards each other? Mountains, that's right. The mountains, the Himalaya mountains, are mountains that were formed because of the convergent plates, the plates that were meeting together. We have plates with different names, and the two plates that pushed together to form the Himalaya Mountains were the Indian plates and the Eurasian plates. The peanut butter on the plate acts for the mantle. All right, so next, we're going to look at plates that transform. Plates that transform, they slide up against each other and the plates are hard and rigid. And this is a slow process. And when these plates slide up against each other, they cause earthquakes. If you notice on the map, it highlights where earthquakes occur around the world. And so these places is where the plates meet up together, bump up, and slowly over time move and slide against each other. Plates also are divergent. Divergent means that the plates will begin to pull apart. And notice what happens with the peanut butter when it's pulled apart. It begins to move up. And these type of plates, when they pull apart, cause volcanoes. So remember, we have three types of movement. Plates are moving constantly, but they're moving slowly. So we have plates that move apart. We have plates that move up or towards each other and up over each other, which create mountains. And we have plates that slowly slide against each other, which creates earthquakes. Our land on earth is constantly moving. Remember, it moves at a very slow rate when the plates are pushing against each other or pulling apart from each other. Our land moves one to six inches per year. That's why it takes millions of years before you can see a drastic change of the land masses on earth. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for joining me, Michelle Gay Science Teachers.